So I want to help you go a little wild with your style, all thanks to a pattern you'll recognize. It may be the Chinese calendar year of the rabbit, mm -hmm. but zebra is all the rage. And Tati, I know you're a leopard print yes. fan, so what are your first impressions? Why not? I like anything that's animal print. It looks like so much fun, and you can, you know, I like a little zhuzh. Well, we've I got like a little we've, zhuzh. We've got an image here, like of all the things that, you, that I found at Macy's. Okay. Um, and, and so you can take a look um, at the image as it comes up there. There you there go. go. So I love look, it. It can be all over. You know, it can be a total outfit. But, you know, if, if that's too much zebra print, then scale it back. Make it a shoe, make mm -hmm. it, you know, a sandal, a watch mm -hmm. strap. It can be a little or a lot, and everybody, including men, can make that happen. I love this. And you say that it doesn't have to be limited to just black and white, because we see the kind of right. teal and black, which is You can incorporate any color into it. And the other thing, too, that I, I think a lot of people forget about is that this is also something that you can find um, in great interiors. Macy's mm. does, you know, furnish furnishings. And I like, like I forget about this sometime, but my personal shopper, <laughs> Brenda, <laughs> pointed all of this stuff out. And you know, it's like you think that zebra print is limiting. Mm -hmm. There are so many options. We have so many different things to look at here. I like it, I like it. So you're also gonna show us how to reinvent an item of clothing to incorporate this look. I yes. wanna know. Okay, well I have a couple of um, demonstrations here. You could, you know, you could buy all of these great things, stuff by Michael Kors, but you could also just like grab some fabric at a fabric mm -hmm. store, take a strip of it, maybe you want to put it around the top of a boot, mm, okay. okay? Or you could have a slide shoe, insert ah. a little bit of fur, and it goes from, you know, warm weather to Cool weather. Cool weather, I got this, it. This stuff is so easy. Yeah. Here's a canvas sneaker, okay? And th uh, my trick, okay? Okay, because I was you. like, John, what Thank are you doing? Yeah. Tell me, he was like, you have to wait. A little <laughs> bit of paint here, a little bit of acrylic paint and a brush, and I wet the sneaker down first, okay? okay. So the canvas is wet, and when you create a stripe on a wet, Surface yeah. like this, see how it like blends and lends itself. It's, it, it doesn't look like you know you're just painting something on. It it actually mimics what real fur looks like. Can you I go? See. Can you see that? I can see that. I, why am I so smart? I don't know. You're super I just made smart this and creative. Up last night. You did? Yeah. I can't believe this. No, but look how like even as it starts to settle, it very much mimics some zebra stripes. Yeah. That is actually really interesting. This is a good thing to do with kids too, I feel like. Absolutely, and so this particular pattern, it does not require clearly a, you know, University of Michigan art school <laughs> education. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can always, you know, you can always buy all of these wonderful sure. things. Sure. No, like, I love accessories. Like, It'd be like a hat. Like you said, if you don't want to go too bold, this would be a good option. Right. And this is, you know, zebra kind of transitions into tiger if you want to get mm -hmm. catty about yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> and, and even like this Michael Kors bag on, it's really his logo, and it has just oh. been incorporated into Stripes. I like that. That like Michael. That. That's very clever. That's <laughs> very clever. And you know what? Seriously, listen. You know I like the bright, bold cheetah, leopard, mm -hmm. zebra, tiger. Pick it. Pick pick uh, pick your choice. But you know if you want to just be subtle with it, a purse is a great way to do it. A hat is a great way to do it. And you know I'm a sucker for wallets and accessories. So mm -hmm. you've got some really cute ones down here. And that's that a kind, kind of, of a merging of of patterns mm -hmm. there. You know it's like uh, maybe leopard with zebra and. I suspect that you and I might be doing a leopard print during that Super Bowl thing. That might be cute. Let's see. Yeah. I could even like add it into my wardrobe like this. And you know what you do with that? You mm. just like make a cut and you rip it. They taught me that um, at Joanne Fabrics yesterday Did that they? you don't cut it or it'll like the fuzz will go mm -hmm. all over. You make one little snip and then you rip it and it stays intact. Ah, I see. They're smart over there at Joann's, too. They yeah. really are. Okay, this is awesome. John, great ideas as always. Thank you. I'm going to buy some canvas shoes now. And we'll take a walk on the wild side. <laughs>